Today we are here with a very eminent political leader of the country, with an eminent sophologist, Mr. Yogendra Yadav. So do you think political discourse in India has become truly ugly? It's been for quite some time. And actually over the years you see a decline in the quality of uh, political vocabulary, in what leaders can say to each other, what they can say about each other. To my mind, it's not merely a function of the decline of political leadership itself. It is also a function of the attention that the media has given to them. So who do you blame for this sorry state of affairs in India? In the last instance, in a democracy, people are responsible. Uh, it is not uh, the right thing to blame simply the political class because the political class doesn't come from Mars. They come from within ourselves. We create them. We make them into our representatives. So in a sense, if there is a weakness, and indeed there is a weakness because some of the uh, biggest, the most uh, uh, populous and deprived groups have no voice in our democracy. The country is going through such a major drought. And you don't find this reflected in our parliament, you don't find it in our television, you don't find it in our newspapers, you don't find it in our drawing room conversations. So something is clearly amiss. So do you think that BJP is using CBI to, um, to use against its political scores? To my mind, uh, when I thought of those raids, the timing looked suspicious, the selection of the bureaucrat looked suspicious. I asked myself if this was a principal secretary of Madhya Pradesh or Haryana, would he be investigated? I doubt if it. I asked myself, would they have not asked permission from Prime Minister's office? Probably they would have. So yes, this does look suspicious. But what should be the response? Should the response be that the Chief Minister jumps to the rescue of a bureaucrat? An honest Chief Minister would have simply said, all right, please conduct raids, please do investigations, everything is open, I have nothing to hide, you will find nothing and you will stop it. The trouble is that that's not how the government responds. So the government defends the bureaucrat exactly in the same way in which they defend their MLAs, exactly the same way in which they defend their tainted ministers. That puts the whole thing in a very different perspective. Sir, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, he has called the Prime Minister Narendra Modi a psychopath and a coward. They both hold a very eminent chairs. So when a Chief Minister calls PM something like this, especially when he is more of an international figure, does this harm the image of the country? I think in many ways both of them belong to the same category. Because if you remember, Mr. Narendra Modi, when he was in opposition, was equally irresponsible. In fact, even in power, he's been pretty irresponsible about the way he's spoken. So in some ways, they, are, they mirror each other. So do you think, what are your views on the Delhi's Lokpal bill? And how is it different from the previous one, which you formed it? It is not the Lokpal that millions of people had demanded from Ramdila Maidan. It is not the Lokpal that Delhi government itself had framed one year ago. They have taken a complete U-turn. Every single provision that was demanded from Ramdila Maidan, which we had, uh, which we had forced the Congress to concede, and when Congress came up with a half-hearted bill, we said this, you know, not even a mice can be caught with that. The Ahmadmi Party government has forgotten all those things. They have carefully picked out each of those things which could have made Lokpal independent, which could have given it autonomy, which could have given it financial autonomy, which could have given it power in terms of investigation. Every one of those things has been taken out. So who do you see as the biggest rival of PM Modi in 2019? Will it be Mr. Nitish Kumar or will it be Mr. Arvind Kejriwal? I think it's too early to say that. Uh, we don't even know how these things will pan out. My own reading is that this politics of anti-BJPism, which Mr. Nitish Kumar has played successfully in Bihar, uh, in which Mamata Banerjee, Arvind K. Shrival, Sharad Pawar and everyone in Lalu Prasad Yadav is joining. So we see the possibility of a national Mahagat Bandhan. Uh, stretching from Sonia Gandhi and Charat Pawar to Lalu Prasad Yadav, Varmin Kejriwal, Nitish Kumar, Mamta Banerjee and so on. I don't think that's the way to take on the BJP. This would actually strengthen the BJP in the long run. 
and all these games that are being played out with 2019 in mind and I really think much of this drama about CBI okay. and much of the games being played out in Delhi right now are nothing but preparation for 2019. The trouble is if you make so much elaborate preparations so much in advance they normally don't work out.